A federal judge has ordered the U.S. Army to release records related to an incident involving former President Donald Trump's campaign staff and an employee at Arlington National Cemetery. The event took place during Trump's visit to the cemetery in August 2024, where he attended a wreath-laying ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Reports surfaced afterward about an alleged confrontation between Trump's staff and a cemetery official, drawing significant public interest. The ruling, issued by senior Judge Paul Friedman on October 22, is part of a lawsuit filed by American Oversight, a nonprofit watchdog group based in Washington, D.C. The organization, which was formed in 2017, often investigates government transparency and accountability issues, particularly related to the Trump administration. American Oversight had submitted a Freedom of Information Act FOIA request in August to obtain records of the incident. They argued that the public has a strong interest in knowing more about the situation, especially with the upcoming 2024 presidential election. In September, the group urged Arlington National Cemetery to speed up the release of the records, stressing that the election is only weeks away. Judge Friedman agreed and ordered the Army to release non-exempt portions of the records by October 25, giving the public access to the information just before voters head to the polls. Kioma Chukwu, interim executive director of American Oversight, expressed satisfaction with the ruling, saying that the public deserves to know how the government responded to the alleged altercation involving a major presidential candidate. She noted that the records are public property and commended the court's decision to prioritize transparency. Chukwu added that her organization looks forward to sharing the details with the public once the records are released. The altercation reportedly took place when a cemetery official informed Trump's staff that no photos or videos could be taken during the visit. The situation escalated when the official tried to prevent the staff from entering an area containing the graves of recently buried service members. Multiple sources have reported that the official was pushed aside during the altercation. The U.S. Army, which manages Arlington National Cemetery, enforces strict regulations that prohibit political activities, including campaign-related photography, within its grounds. Following the incident, a spokesperson for Arlington National Cemetery confirmed that a report had been filed but provided no further details. The spokesperson explained that federal law bans any political activities, such as campaigning or photography, within national military cemeteries. The cemetery staff had also informed all attendees of these rules before the event. In response, the U.S. Army issued a statement defending the Arlington employee involved, stating that she acted professionally and was unfairly criticized for simply doing her job. The Army maintained that the employee was enforcing the cemetery's regulations and expressed disappointment that she had faced personal attacks following the incident. The Trump campaign has denied reports of a physical altercation, describing the situation differently. Stephen Chung, a spokesperson for the Trump campaign, claimed that a private photographer had been allowed at the event, and an unnamed individual suffering from a mental health issue had blocked members of Trump's team. Chung denied that the campaign staff had acted aggressively and stated that the campaign would release footage if defamatory claims were made against them. Additionally, family members of soldiers killed in Afghanistan, who were present during the ceremony, also refuted the claims of any assault, backing the Trump campaign's version of events. They stated that no physical altercation took place during the ceremony. The court's ruling and the subsequent release of the Army's records could provide more clarity about what actually happened during Trump's visit. As the 2024 election nears, the incident has drawn attention due to Trump's high-profile candidacy. The public will soon have access to more information about the incident, which could influence voters' opinions as they prepare to vote.